Hey guys, we're back with another video and today we'll be talking about Baez's Season 13 fate and fans' collective sigh of relief over it. With the new season just around the corner, everyone who's ever watched a single season of Blue Bloods is brimming with excitement. Alright, maybe not everyone, but if you finished Season 12 and are waiting for 13 to drop, this video is for you. Let's begin. First off, what happened that brought such relief to the Blue Bloods fans? Blue Bloods detective Maria Baez went MIA for some episodes episodes during Season 12, but it has since been confirmed that she will be returning to solve cases in future episodes. Maria works for the New York City Police Department as an officer of the Major Case Squad at the 54th Precinct, in case her absence made you forget who she is. The character made an entry in Season 3, where she joined the police force as Danny Reagan's partner. The gang has worked together on the bulk of the Blue Bloods episodes since then, and fans aren't accustomed to seeing them apart. Marissa Ramirez's character has been a mainstay on the CBS series series outside of the primary Reagan family, so when she did not appear in a number of prior season episodes, many speculated that she had quit the show. If you were one of those, you won't be feeling so blue anymore after you hear what we have to tell you. The actress was photographed shooting for the next season 13, and pictures have since then gone viral on social media. Fans are overjoyed to see her return as an NYPD officer. Guys, get up and shake your hips because Maria is coming back. Marissa took numerous breaks from the Blue Bloods set all through the 12th season because of issues back home. There was some talk of concern in her family, but she has neither talked about it nor do we have any other info regarding it. We just hope all's well now. What we do know is the matter has gotten better, so maybe Marissa will be able to give more time to her professional life, which means more Maria content for us suckers. But you see, that sigh of relief may be premature given how the storyline went in the last season. We're sure you remember what happened. It's not been that long since season 12, but if you don't, you don't have to worry. We're here for you. In the season 12 episode titled Silver Linings, Baez adopted a newborn girl whose real mother, Elena Marquez, was in witness protection and was killed by a bomb put on the instructions of Arturo Moaz, whom she was testifying against. And although it appears like Baez won't be taking time off to be a full-time mother, as numerous fans have joked, it will definitely affect her storyline, dialogue, actions, and relationship with her longtime partner. But is that all? Or is there something we're forgetting? Oh yeah, taking care of a baby especially one that young, is a huge responsibility. So it's very likely that Maria won't have too much screen time because she'll be busy taking care of the baby. And let's be honest, Blue Bloods is a crime show. None of its audience would be interested in watching Maria prepare a bottle of milk for the infant. Oh, and from past experience, we know that when a series of interlinked events leads to a lonely or troubled character adopting a child, some distant relative shows up for custody, leading to the character feeling even lonelier. We don't know how much of this is true, we're only running on experience and assumptions. But that baby is there to do something to the plot. We'll just have to watch the next season unfold to see what it is. And Marissa may not be leaving, but another character may be. Tom Selleck is returning for season 13 as Frank Reagan, but this may be his last one. You know, my back's kinda messed up, Tom Selleck admitted. The 77-year-old has been appearing on television since 1969, and has spent a great deal of time straining and bending his body to execute stage stunts. The father of two, Kevin and Hannah, stated that he had seen the price of those stunts through the years. While they didn't seem that tough at the time, randomly doing a stunt when you're not used to them takes a toll on your body in the long run and leads to serious injury. Selleck says that he has no personal trainer to tell him if he's ready to do stunts, but he requires like 10 minutes of warm-up to do them. And since, as an actor, he spends most of his time sitting, the spontaneous stunt work doesn't suit his lifestyle and has messed up his back in the process. Fortunately, Selleck has his wife, Jilly Mack, who can assist him when things become very bad. Speaking of his wife, the couple celebrated their 34th wedding anniversary last week on the 7th of August. We hope they have many more to come. Oh, and season 13 isn't dropping in August. Any idea when the next season is coming? Definitely not August. Nopes, not September either. Ding ding, the third time's a charm, eh? The next season of Blue Bloods drops on Friday the 7th of October, 2022. At least the first part of it will. And if history has anything to do with it, all the episodes will air together on CBS. Yes, the wait is a little disappointing, but we aren't surprised, are we? Before last year, CBS used to air new seasons in the last week of September, but that changed in season 12, and it looks like the new concept will be continued this time too. In other news from Blue Bloods, first up, Bridget Monahan posted another behind the scenes. Don't you just love Blue Bloods cast? They're always giving us a sneak peek into filming on set, keeping us in the loop with everything happening backstage. Well, Bridget just did 
it again. She posted a picture of her blue campaign shirt a while ago, and fans went into a frenzy. Seems like she's gotten used to turning things up in the fandom. On Instagram, the actress shared a photo of her co-star Marissa Ramirez, who plays Maria Baez, and Donnie Wahlberg, who plays Aaron's brother Danny Reagan. He was holding up a tee that said, elect Aaron Reagan for Manhattan District Attorney. Bridget captioned the post, looks like Aaron Reagan has another solid endorsement. In reference to her season 13 plotline, we totally agree, Bridget, that really is some solid endorsement. With such strong forces behind her back, we're pretty sure she's winning for sure. We're up for bets, even. Fans obviously went wild in the comments section, expressing their excitement over where the storyline seemed to be going. One fan commented, best endorsement she can receive, Well, another said it's about time, looking forward to the next season. We know why there's so much anticipation for Aaron's DA run, mostly since it's uncommon for Blue Bloods to have anything this special to build up before the start of a season. It's a series that usually has major cliffhangers, and this one isn't either. It's basically a topic from last season that has yet to be resolved, and we expect the first two episodes to be filled with major storylines about it. Hopefully, they'll cover the campaign part of the elections in the next season too, because fans are really pumped for it. Next up, we have another behind the scenes. This time, it's Abigail Hawk who shared a behind the scenes look at Abigail Baker. She's a fan favorite for a reason. She's tremendously devoted to Frank, exceedingly intelligent, and one of the few individuals who can truly confront Tom Selleck's character, even if he is the police commissioner. He's smart enough to listen to her, just as he does to Gormley and Garrett. In this case, she's holding a coffee cup with the NYPD symbol imprinted on it. This is just one of the many elements that are placed on set for realism. There's a lot of material scattered about the set that you usually don't notice. It is critical for the production staff to make you believe that the characters are at one police plaza, even if this is not the truth. What can we anticipate from Baker in Blue Bloods Season 13? Of course, we'd like to learn more about her life outside of work. If nothing else, we'd want to see her participate in some critical choices alongside Frank. And finally, Tom Selleck just admitted Harrison Ford hates him. Harrison Ford is most recognized for his role in Indiana Jones, but he almost lost the part to Tom Selleck, who plays Jesse Stone in Jesse Stone Night Passage. Steven Spielberg and George Lucas were seeking a fresh actor for their next film, Raiders of the Lost Ark, in 1980. But Hollywood executives were concerned that they had worked with Ford too extensively, so they began looking at several lead actors in Hollywood. They eventually agreed on Selleck. Harrison Ford hates hearing this, Selleck said. Unfortunately for Selleck, he ended up losing the Indiana Jones role, as we all know, but that's because he had also landed a role in Magnum P.I., and CBS held out his contract for a month, but eventually let go of his role as Indiana Jones. And that's a wrap for this video. Are you relieved to hear about Bias? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.